Well, we were just talking about how the energy has changed since we got here. It's like, I can like physically see the energy because I have synesthesia and it's like a little bit wonky now. So it was like happy-go-lucky when we came in here and now it's like yeah, shifting. Yeah. The darker things are becoming harder to ignore. If you're being that affected by things, I shouldn't be doing them. You're getting bothered. It means it's unsafe for me. Yeah. Is that you? It's a spiking tube. You what? Sit. That's hot. That's on red. What? That's five. Uh. And then there's a man that talks in here. Here you go. Oh, yeah. I can't do it on that one. The stanky leg? I like the one person that commented in our last video. Like, it's too stanky. Like, it's too stanky. I was like, yes, it's it is. It's too stanky. That's why it doesn't got the jiggle. Oh, God. Anyways, okay. So, this is... The seance room. Seance. I don't know. So, they call it the seance room because this is where Ed and Lorraine Warren came to help the parents. Exorcise so the demons why or something. Annabelle is in here. Memorabilia. Yeah. So this is where that happened. I assume that there was a big like table or something here. They put a table. The library room that does not have lights on at the moment. Is there a light switch? Yeah, it's on the left hand side. Other door. Ooh. Okay. Not a normal switch. Yeah. Um. So this is the sand room where they did the thing and bad things happened. Um, if you want to watch our dissertation on that, go to our other video. But that room over there, the library, is where the parents had their bedroom. But now, after one of, I think it was the people after the Perrin family, who had the S names, Norma and Jerry, they converted them to the library because either both or one of them were psychologists. So all the books in there are theirs. They donated them. And every time I see this place, I always see the library the same. And I think it's because Jerry talks to me about it and is like, this is a safe spot. I love it. And I always see him sitting in that chair over there. Like literally the room looks exactly the same. So coming here, I'm like, oh, wow. We love your <laughs> library. Yeah. And it's really cute. So that's that on that. Now we're going to go. Did they used to... Um have like a table in there and it'd be the dining room oh i don't understand why there's two doors number one i honestly don't know there might have just been one door at one time and the door like slid or something like how the franklin castle is i don't know there was a lady that like walked in here and they made me feel like there was a dining room table in there yeah that makes a lot of sense because they like showed me the light go on because most people that have a dining room have like a switchy light. Well, it's interesting because when we were in what's called the dining room now, which was yeah. the dining room the first when that's the kitchen. Yeah, I thought that was the kitchen and then they turned this into the dining room once they added this second portion of the house on. So that would make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a very intrusive thought because some lady was like, it was a dining room and I was like, okay, that's weird. Now I feel what a dining room feels like. That's been happening to it me lately. It looks very Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it feels like there's a table. I can like feel the table in the room. It's like I'm in the house and I can feel. I, I've been feeling months. I have a new spirit guide. He deals with feeling things. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
Great. That's so. not Mr. Meeseeks, is it? Yes. Ha! <laughs> it's Sebastian. <laughs> Anyways, that's that on this room. Now we're gonna go to the basement. Okay. Dun dun. dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Dun dun. Holes down here. No, this is the fun basement. I like basements like this. It's very dark down here. I got lights on. Mm, that's why the candles over here. It's That's not scary. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Leo! Mm, 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 mm. house was raised cold down here. Mmm. Sorry. <coughs> Aha! Poopies! Sorry. I gotta take pictures. This was life changing pictures, you know? Wow! Wow! No, I'm gonna take a picture of that. What do you mean? What's going on? This is a bent neck lady pictures. Oh. This used to be a daycare down here. And um the children used to draw what they saw and they would see someone that has a bent neck, so they have a couple pictures of them. I don't know if that's true, but that's why that's there. Rubs belly, lost and bought. <laughs> just wow. <laughs> Someone just said they put that there so people don't go down there. Of course. Yeah, they have. Like, <laughs> Is that true? Did someone go down here? One of my guys in overnight did for five minutes. Yeah. The a dude. To <laughs> That's dumb. But we're also girls, so okay. <laughs> you ready? Uh huh. I like it down here because it's cold. Did anyone bring dice? What? Anyone bring dice or cards? Poker chips? Anything? Oh, we're playing poker. <gasps> oh, go. go fish! Go fish. Go fish? I'm down. Go fish. Okay. I talked to a cat a couple weeks ago that likes goldfish. Um, so, this is the basement. Dun, dun. This is the place where Sam and Colby sat upon their butts. And now I am to take that, Sam and Colby. You two could be here with me, but you're not. sitting in that chair. Ah! Sorry. Ah! <laughs> you said we wanted jump scares, right? Yeah, someone gave me a comment of, you need more jump scares. <laughs> and uh, I apologize in advance for that because they're going to be hilarious. They're going to be really bad ones. They're going to be Micro Markiplier scares. Is it a man? Scares. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have a really big beard. <laughs> and he's sitting. Excuse me, sir, may I please imitate you? He's like, no, you cannot. He's like, Is he the like one this. that told me about that? Yes. <laughs> He looks like he's Amish. He's like, I'm not Amish, I'm just old. Anyways, okay, old. so. <laughs> this specifically, this room was um, the dairy room. So they would keep milk and cheese and things like that all year, which is why it's cold. And also why the walls are specifically like granite and slate. Oh, that's why it's so cold in here. It needed to be somewhat antibacterial and super cold. So this is the dairy section. Um, also, in the wintertime, the Aaron and Canyon not Aaron, Arnold oh. and Canyon family would bring animals in from the pasture, like the ones that were more meat producing or like food producing animals, such as pigs and chickens that couldn't harsh or like live in the harsh New England area weather. So they were actually in the room that you guys are standing behind now where they would keep some of the smaller livestock. Now, the little tiny area that we'll show you over here is where they show, um, Kept the root vegetables, sewed up potatoes, the beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica, and the carrots would be over there. And then the rest of the basement was added onto, obviously. And that is where once indoor heat indoors was created, they put the furnace systems and things like that. And that is also the scary shadowing hallway. Yay! So let's go look at where they put some root vegetables and then the scary hallway. So when we were down here, Anthony was feeling like he was getting like touched behind him. And there's two things. The thing that was happening to Anthony was the soul of an old woman came down here and she was like, don't you be touching the groceries. <laughs> and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Cause I feel like mostly women would come down here and do everything that they needed to, not necessarily the men. The men would do the work with the animals, but they would take care of the food and the vegetables. So she was like, no snitching, no stealing. We're not about that. Um, however, down the scary place is where there is suspected activity of a woman-esque entity or being that likes to mess with men. So that is one of the reasons that 
people like to have the tales, supposedly, theoretically, whatever, allegedly, that the female soul that was tormenting Mr. Perrin and his wife is over there. So we're gonna go over there. Okay, let's go. Who has a flashlight? Cause I'm scared. I'm scared. I ain't got a flashlight. Addy, watch Mom, this. It's little. Come get me. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Just remove all the downloads. Let me see what this room looks like. Starts at. This is where the animals would be kept. That would be cute, right? Put some little Can piggies in there. I'm about it. I love pigs. So yeah, these are the things that I couldn't put in the same house either. It's a sump pump. There's thick skin over here. So this is oh, where they used to keep the coal in this big bin right here. There's still some coal in there. Cool. This is the oil tank that used to heat the house at one point or another. This These is... These are put here for a reason. This is where all of the energy comes from. This, this is the thing that helped open stuff. This is the old coal slash wood burning furnace that Mr. Perrin would come down and heat and it would go out a lot and he hated coming down here because of the negative interactions that he would have. And then this is the new HVAC system heater thingy that uh, looks a lot like the thing that we'll talk about when we go upstairs. Which is funny. So it bring in a, it's it's Why are you scared tentacle views. Well it's hard to talk about it down here because it's dark. You wanna talk about it? You go for it. Yeah, I feel like they put it here without knowing they were putting it in the right spot. I know it sounds weird, but um they put basically an energy center between ley lines. Mm. Because they like show me the origin of the portal. Mm. It's almost like someone was whispering in their ears where to put it. Yep. Which is weird. It's not even that they were whispering, they're just, they have a, uh... It's just innate, it? drawn to energy. They have a subconscious drawn to energy, exactly. So, they put it where it felt good. <laughs> yeah. Um... But I'm trying to decide if it happened before they put all this stuff here, or after. I think it was here before, it just amplified it after. Yeah. Two things amplified it. It being here, put in after, and then also all the things that happened. And the Is this where the lines meet? I think two of them do. Mm-hmm. That's why this is the worst part. Worst? Because it has the most physical energy. <coughs> but it's interesting that they put it, all of the energy stuff <laughs> on it. <laughs> Corey also said if he, if he recommends if you do come down here alone and stuff like that, just open yourself up and you know, you'll get a lot of experiences. He said, um, sorry, there's a man saying people don't normally do stuff over here because there's too much electrical stuff and it fucks with people's uh, electronics. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, this is the scary part. This is where they should do all their ghost hunting stuff. And they're like, hey, they get false positives. He said, he said come down here just by yourself and just try to like, just relax and just well, yeah. into it all. But I'm just saying, most people do it in that other room with the chairs. Yeah. Um, they don't do it over here because A, the ley lines will flip their stuff, it'll trip it. But also, the, all of this stuff will trip yeah. it. So it's not a soul doing it, it's energy just existing doing it. <laughs> cool. Cool. Snake skin. Did you do a snake skin? Oh, great. Oh, they want to say you're the movement. I'm the coding of the movement, which is why you're better at things that move. Okay, can you guys show me yes, please? Show me the yes that I want. You know what it is. Thank you. Why do you want yes to be outward? Because I've always seen it that way. And it makes sense to me. Everything else I think is the opposite. 
<laughs> okay, can you guys show me no? Por favor. You can do it. Thanks. Okay, so is there um, a woman standing in the doorway over there and a little boy standing in front of me? You do so good. That's so nice. <coughs> Excuse me. You can do it. I promise you can. Get the other one to swing out. Yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. There we go. That's like, that's good. What room should we go to first? Um, should we go into the middle room upstairs first? If it's yes, can you make them go wider? Walls, like this, booze, this green slime. Oh, like it's like a like uh, shitty animatronic like coffins or something like that. It's just like smoke seeping out, but it's just like black, dark, gray smoke coming out and just flowing throughout. That's what I keep saying. But it's coming out slow. I see yeah. black goop. It's really weird. Yep, it makes more sense because we were like reacting to the Conjuring House videos. You could like see things in the darkness, mm -hmm. just like little skittery things. Yeah. And it wasn't like that for a while. And I was like, where are we again? Excuse me, what? Yeah, there's a lot of things that aren't good that are talking to me, so I'm just trying not to say anything. No, say things. They're just telling me bad things. Like so. what? And they're just really taunting and just want us to like do things. Well, I just do keep things. asking. I'm like, well, when I went on the tour with Corey, everything seemed fine. I was just talking to, like, normal human souls with, like, the occasional, like, mildly, like, whatever thing. But, um, now there's, like, this weird things that are coming out of the walls. And they're, like, I'm asking... Hold on. Can you stop for a second? Go on. I'm asking how they came to be, because I'm, like, it's just people... And they're like, the people did bad things. And I'm like, the people didn't do bad things. You're just lying to me. Well, we were just talking about how the energy has changed since we got here. It's like, I can like physically see the energy because I have synesthesia. And it's like a little bit wonky now. So it was like happy-go-lucky when we came in here. And now it's like yeah, shifting. Yeah. Don't like it. Not really about it. The floor moves. Yes. Yeah. Worst nightmares falling through the floor, for sure. I don't know why. I just Do we would not to like to fall through the floor. Maybe you fell down a vine shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Smell strawberry shortcake. That might be the soap. Did you use the soap? It's not the soap. Does it smell soap? No, it smells like fresh strawberry shortcake. <laughs> okay, can I smell it too? Um, <laughs> I just thought it was the soap. <laughs> let's Is somebody making us smell strawberry shortcake? Can you turn on yeah, the like flash behind you? Thanks. You're really sweet. I love strawberry shortcake. I wish I could eat some. Thank you. So we're in the kitchen. Of the Conjuring House. Sorry. I think it's fine. Go ahead. We are in the kitchen of the Conjuring House in the original kitchen area, dining room thing. And we're here to talk to some of the souls that are already talking to us. It smelled like strawberry shortcake for a second. It doesn't anymore. It smells like an old house. 
Um, which was pleasant because I needed that for a minute. Just like something nice and pleasant. You guys are going ham on those fucking flashlights. Excuse my French. <laughs> I just smelled it again. Are you making strawberry shortcake? No. Are you doing that to make us feel better? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, this used to be the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Is that why there's so many windows in here? Which? Does it sound like someone's talking? Or maybe it's the stuff downstairs. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I hear. Yes. It sounded like it was going down, down like the hallway over there. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I did hear talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't hear talking. I heard the... It sounded like a man's voice. Yeah. But it could just be that downstairs, too. Or a combination of both. Was mm. there a man touching that flashlight up there? I think that turning off means yes. <laughs> this one turned on? Yeah. <laughs> I think you heard it, we just didn't hear it. Yeah. Weird. It sounded like a conversation. Yeah. Like two men talking? It literally sounded like what we heard at Fairfield. Yeah. I hope it was Fred, because I like him. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was older. Like, older timeline. Like the Arnold's. But yeah, he is funny. <laughs> I like the lady in here. <coughs> she tells me that there's a lot of windows because the, this used to be an open flame. So it got the smoke out of the house. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because so I was like, there's a lot of windows for a kitchen. Which woman are we talking to? The this... one I was making is probably a short cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's really sweet. She's probably like in her 40s ish, mid 40s, and she has like lighter colored hair. Yep, she was the one that was making turkey? No. Chicken. Chicken. It did Not come on when you said turkey. <laughs> She's like, I'm doing both. <laughs> <laughs> it might be turkey. <laughs> Let's get real. The guy that was upstairs, the man who deals with the pigs, who was talking in the middle room, he was telling us that he was coming in here for some delicious stew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. say anything because I was like, that's not pertinent to what we're talking about. But he was like, mm mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized you can't see these. <laughs> this is a REM pod. <sighs> turn off. You can do Cat it. Paul, turn off. Don't no, make it go off. Thank you. He's like, me? <laughs> me? Over here? Flashlight turned on and off. <laughs> that one turned on. Ugh. Is, is there it? anybody else besides the man and the woman that want to talk to us? If there is, you yes. should make the cat balls go off. Is there someone standing in the kitchen? Is there something standing in the kitchen? Because I keep getting the weird, I'm all puffy feeling. <laughs> and I would like it to stop. <laughs> yeah, the light went off. So am I getting a puffy feeling for a reason? Or am I just doing it because it's just a fun experience? Is it for a reason? I can turn that off for you. It's not for you, it's for me. What? It's not for you, it's for me. Is that correct? Yeah. What is? If what you're feeling that way, I shouldn't be doing things. <laughs> That's what it's telling me. What do you mean? If you're being that affected by things, I shouldn't be doing them. <laughs> That's what they're telling me. You shouldn't be doing what? Whatever, wherever you're going <laughs> to talk to things. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just standing in the room. I Man, know, but yeah. you're like the... <laughs> you're getting bothered. You're getting bothered. Means it's unsafe for me. Yeah. As they keep saying. Mm. I would watch with your elbows on the table. Sorry. <laughs> You are correct. Yeah. So? 
Because you rarely get bothered by things. Oh. It's probably something dark again. Sorry. Because I didn't think it was going to feel like that. And I'm like, oh, fucking Megan. Oh. Yeah, I got to feel the chills in my temples and my spine. Cool. Am I supposed to learn something here? The darker things are becoming harder to ignore <laughs> than what they were earlier. <sighs> and it's just probably going to get worse. It's because we're getting more and more tired. <sighs> the tired and less aware we are, the more it's, the easier it is for them to come through and show themselves to us. I feel like... I'm not necessarily even tired. I'm just like... <laughs> These dark things. They're just becoming more <coughs> prevalent. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. Thank you for confirming that it's weird. Um, Miss <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake Lady. <laughs> uh, please come back. <laughs> Baby, yeah, come I back. I don't know why it was happening. I'm like, fucking, this is a horrible feeling. I've never felt like this before. It's weird. But I'm trying to keep my energy <coughs> solid because the energy in here is like wee woo wee mm -hmm. woo. <laughs> and the longer we sit here, the more we bumpy it gets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was fine when we first sat down. Now it's getting worse again. Like the more still you are. Please define wee womping. Um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Here's the human stuff. Here's the not human stuff. Right. This is what's happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. So when we got here, it was this. Mm. But because we're here, now it's this. Because our energy affects the ley lines. The ley lines are cool. I like to learn about the ley lines. Can we talk about the ley lines, Miss Strawberry Shortcake Lady? <laughs> I mean, we're technically over top of them. Oh, is this where they hit? Yeah, because it's right below us. Yeah, but I don't believe that they, have, that they were telling me that because that's weird. I still freaked out for the fact that I was telling you about ley lines and I have no idea what a ley line is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they hit like right below us. <laughs> Are you okay? I heard that too, Janelle. <laughs> what? Like, me? I heard that too. What? Some like just like a but, freak out. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Things are just talking to me. I'm trying to ignore them. That's all. Yeah. She's like, yeah. It's just gonna get worse for me. Yeah. So, that's fine. <laughs> There's like this little Scottish terrier that's running around everywhere. <laughs> He's like gray and tan. He's yip, 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 yip. Yep. Just more knocks. <laughs> I hate it. This is the energy center. I swear it responded to me over my up in the library when I was like this. You probably heard it and we didn't hear it. I have to sneeze. <laughs> just let it out. It's just everything is so tingly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spicy, spicy air. <laughs> oh, much better. Just gotta sneeze the demons out. <laughs> <clears throat> no dumb questions. I'm here. Are pies in here? Maybe. Do we smell, smell pies? I thought I did when we were Dude, doing this is the tour. room for you. Is it sweet potato pie? It smelled more like apple or like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't tell if it was like the stuff that's hanging up in here or if it was like an air freshener when we walked in. No, I could smell the like cinnamon. Yeah. Like clear cognizantly. That's why I asked if it was sweet potato. <sighs> it tastes very good. good. Like it smelled like cinnamon e. Mhm. Mm cinnamon mini mini monster. <sighs> it keeps zoning out in here. Janelle, what do you feel like over there? I don't know. You getting any feelers? Putting your feelers out? Getting some smells? Mm -hmm. Smelling people's feelings? Do you feel like there's something standing to your left? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, you told me to tell you when there's weird things by you. No, that's fine. Okay. There's a weird thing by you. Cool. Yeah, we should go. I'm not feeling very well. 
You want to walk outside for a bit? Yeah. Okay. Let's go sit on the front porch. Yeah, because I can see the look on your face. <laughs> yeah. That's why I asked you. Yeah. yeah, I can tell you outside what they're saying to me. I'm just not going to do it in here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go outside for a second. It's gonna get worse. Yeah, hey, this I'm place is dance. weird. I was gonna say, I feel like it's just slowly just. It's seeping out. What's the energy's coming? I find it interesting. I like to pretend like it's cool. It's really weird. I like that this is like a sign for the restroom. There's also a sign that has Bigfoot on it. Alright, let's go talk about the scary things outside. <laughs> I like how you grab it fast, but that doesn't make it turn off faster. It's just awful. Get crap on. I also had to find my flashlight. Is there a light out here? No. much better out here. Uh -huh. Less tingly energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was showing me scary things that I don't like. Like what? Um, like things like that at the Madison Seminary, but not quite as much. Because they don't really know what's going on, you know? Like oh. the dark things. And then the second one, when you asked me again if I was feeling weird, um, I looked like I was spacing out, right? You did. You were like losing yourself. Yeah, there was, um, they were showing me like this big giant guy like hitting me over the head. Mm. <laughs> so that was a fun time. Because my head was starting to hurt. So they just show me different things that are like violent. Because that's my scary thing. So. I'm really tired. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, what were you getting besides just feeling them around you? Just that. Uh, just feeling them? Yep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. It's like, here's my energy. They just, like, intermingle, like, certain things through it. Because that's how I keep from feeling the way you're feeling. <laughs> what do you mean? You're, you like block it out so you can, f yours is like, they touch it, which is why you get the prickly feeling, mm -hmm. but so that I don't get that prickly feeling because I know what it's like and I don't like it, they go like this. So it's more like interference, which is why I get the like sensations and feelings and like, what is it? Um, like hallucinations of it. Does that make sense? So you see things instead of feel things? Well, I feel and see things, but I just, in, instead of having it just be like a... You increase your frequency instead of keeping it where it is? Is that what you're saying? No, I just... The, my frequency is this. Mm -hmm. The dark things are trying to touch it, right? Okay. Yours is just being touched because you have a wall. Got okay. it? Yeah. Instead of having a wall, I let it just go through to try and make it so that I don't short circuit. Does that make sense? It's almost like if you add a fuse to something so that it mediates the energy, I like add fuses, but it doesn't stop the information from coming through. It just keeps it from short circuiting. <laughs> well, what would happen if it short circuit? I don't know what you mean by short circuit. If I short circuit, that means I'm not changing the load capacity of the energy that I can take. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> Do, well, does other people understand what she's talking about? <coughs> I zoned out. Are you oh. talking about like the... It's like if you have a fuse box. A fuse box I feel fuse weird. Yeah. Well, you have stuff. fuses so that the, the fuse box doesn't blow. Yeah. But if you get rid of the fuses, then the circuit will break. So I add fuses 
or let the energy flow through mine so that I don't short circuit or don't have those pokey feelings. It's just the same sort of feeling, but I'm experiencing it. It like comes in and out of my energy. I hear what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. It's strange. <coughs> so are you feeling like how a cat would feel like if it got startled? Like it just like yeah, it literally up feels and like comes up. my hair is standing on edge. And I've never experienced that feeling before, but it just that's won't go away. <coughs> that's how I feel when I get the one talk about the children. I get. It's called fear. <laughs> yeah, like, but I'm not scared. It's, like, it's just I'm standing there and I'm like, please stop feeling like things are pulling hairs out of my neck or something. No, oh, I just saw a man standing that fucking window. Which one? One behind you, Liv. Gross. Yeah, it was probably the man that was trying to smash my head with a frying pan. Oh, uh, I did not like that. Yeah, it's because Russell has a similar energy to you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm, it's because your energy moves and my energy doesn't. Because mm -hmm. it keeps telling me. You're a wall. I, I, here's my well, energy. You remember when you told me that? The dark things go like this. <laughs> so they your, overlay. Your energy naturally does it though. Yeah. It's they beep and they bop. Remember when you told me that I'm a masculine presence? Like, mm -hmm. my higher self is a masculine presence that sits in one spot and you bring things to me? Mm -hmm. That's why it's like that. Because mm -hmm. I don't move and you move. Mm -hmm. Weird. Yeah. Because so they were telling me that earlier, too. Theirs can overlay my energy, which is why I'm getting the sensations and stuff. But it's hard, so... I'm getting a weird, like, tightening sensation around my fucking neck. <laughs> you should stop talking about it. I know that. Life, death, life, life, death, life, death, life, death. Because I don't need that. Can you stop it for a second, please? I don't think that's me. <laughs> um, we want to put it on the floor somewhere else. It might be too close to me. Yeah, I understand. Hold on, I need to not make that hole. Mm -hmm. You're okay. Twice. I know. It happened once with me. I also don't know this camera very well, so. Well, you I didn't turn it on after you guys gave it to me, too. It was on. Let's put. So I just thought it went off on <laughs> Night shot. Life. <laughs> okay, Life. can you turn it off again? <laughs> Sorry. Death. Patrick! Okay. <laughs> don't freak out. Thank you. That's not what I told you to do, is it? Do we have the other one? Do you it think it's there? freaking out because we're on lay lines? No, because know. it wasn't freaking out when we were upstairs. Do you want to swap it with the other one? To yeah. See if it's the same That's why I was like, let's swap it with the other one. Okay. Do you want to light it? Or is there? the other one over there? Yeah. Oh, it's on. Oh. I can put this one over yeah, the there. Other one is always or should on I just not use this one? Light one up over there. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Just keep it what on. did it go on for? <laughs> I don't know. Should we use the other REM pod? Flip them. Turn it off if yes. And I'd like a human soul to touch that, please. <sighs> um, can that man that came down here with Sam and Colby come back and do things with us, please? The biker guy? Head back. We can't head back. Are they talking to a man? Yes! I was just gonna say that! It's like the dark things aren't that they are that were there before the shadow people. There's a man that's sitting like on the other side of them or like it, over here. Yes, next to Sam. 
Now that this man is sat in here, do you feel like the room that they're in specifically is quiet? Because when he sat down, it's like everything got cleared out and the mm -hmm. things that Colby is shouting is things that he can hear from the walls. It's like they are trying to scream through the walls. Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, as long as you feel the same thing, because this guy is very quiet. Mm -hmm. He has like a commanding presence. Yeah, he has a lot of energy. But it's like all my energy, which is why I told you that his energy is like different than everything else that's in the basement. Yeah, it's like wherever he walks within a 10 foot radius, things mm -hmm. can't come in. Yeah, that's exactly what I see. But the stuff that Colby's hearing is the things that I, I perceive being screamed through the walls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, like the dude was like, what, that was really heavy. No, I don't remember. Yeah. I see him as like a biker dude. Oh, I didn't see him. Do you feel like he's here? I feel like he might be. I'm not sure. Do you need my flashlight? Because it's heavy, you know, in a solid way. It just oh. got really dizzy. If someone could just walk over here with me. Janelle, do you want my flashlight? I got two. Okay. <laughs> you should put your head back. There you go. What? What? What, what happened? Can you turn it off for me, please? You will lose privileges of it. Yeah. If you continue to make it go off. I think that one might actually like be broken. I think broken. you broke it. Hmm. Yeah, like it might be broken. Like how the music box that we had was broken after the opera house. Yeah, I don't know if that one's gonna work here the rest of the night. I have a feeling if we take it out and we use it, like at the Airbnb, it's gonna be fine. Okay. I'll just bring this one over here. Well, our music box literally went way too fast once, and then never again was it the same. Death. Life, death, life, death, life, death. We're in the basement. <laughs> uh, Jesus. What went off? What oh went off? Epic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is it because I said Jesus? No, it's because we said death. I think it was because we said basement. Yeah, I think it was because we said basement. Um, but we're in the basement of the Conjuring House, and we have a flashlight here in front of us. We have a REM pod over there that's going to be on Russell's camera. We have a music box out in the hallway, and there's a flashlight and EM, e, EVP reader over there. Um, apparently, my REM pod is dead now. Thank you, demons. They broke it. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what to ask. My baloney has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. There's like weird things out in the hallway, so. My baloney yeah. has a second name. It's M-E-Y-E-R. Um, can you make the music box go off? Can you make the REM pod go off? If there's anyone here that wants to talk to us, can you touch one of our devices? Go. Go, go, go. Nervous singing. There's a little boy that just came down here and tugged on my shirt and said that we shouldn't be down here because his daddy said he, that people shouldn't be down here. Why? Oh, Stark say never mind. Oh. It's both. <sighs> I think it's because um, they just didn't want kids down here. But when I asked that, it didn't wasn't the little kid anymore. Yeah. So things are just messing with the image of the real souls, which is fine. It's normal. Um, do you guys want to do the SS method? Did people bring their headphones down here? No, I didn't bring my headphones down here. I don't think you should. I think it would be a bad idea. We can dock the spirit box and see if we can just hear anything in general. I mean, I guess. I still would like to do the SS method. Does you want to do it? Go grab headphones. If somebody comes up and oh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we should do. I don't think should do the rest of this one. Wait! I'm pickle Rick. I feel like these are bunkers. Was that us? No. no that's going off. That's fun. Do you like pickle Rick? I'm pickle Rick! Also, the K2 is going off. That's cool. Can you make that go off again? Is Dan's it going? are excited for the spirit box. Yeah, that's why they're telling me not to do it. 
Oh yeah. Um, who's doing it? <laughs> doing what? Who's putting the headphones on? Or are we doing it out loud? I can do it. Unless someone wants to. I feel like it would not be good for me. Yeah, I don't think it would be good for you either. <laughs> <laughs> I can try it, but, but I don't know. If... Otherwise, oh, I would. Oh, my camera bag has the fucking blindfolds. Do you want to go through with me It's going to be dark. I think I would dance if I were even. Is there someone, Fruit. Is there someone down here that will talk to us? Prevent scurvy. Are you the lady that would deal with the vegetables? No way. <laughs> no right. way. Why are you saying no way? No way, no way. Maybe her name is Jose. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? If he says Ezekiel, I'm gonna shake your pants. <laughs> Ace. Ace Ventura? Pet detective? Are there children that come down here? Is that you? It's a spiking tube. Are you setting our devices up right now? What? Sit. That is indeed what you're doing. That's hot. That's not a red. What? That's five. Is that? Is this an EMF five? Are you a poltergeist? <laughs> is this a I don't gym? know what. I'm. Fine. What? Are we playing phasmophobia? I heard IRL. <laughs> no. I also heard someone say no. Like. Like, for, like the, down the hallway, did you hear yeah. it? Yeah. I thought I heard something. It sounded like a woman, right? Yeah. The yeah. stairs. Yeah. Coming from the stairs. Got it. I got trapped. Hate. Now. No, we love you. Ich liebe dich. Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah. I can say it in Russian here, too. <laughs> can you set the music box off as well? Conjuring House Basement. Who are we talking to? No, thank you. Yeah, the blue tibia. Oh, All of them off. <laughs> Do you turn that off? What, you don't like when people say that they love you? Yeah. Me. Do you know who we were talking to last month, I guess? You do know me, the demon? He's a pretty cool dude. It's for you? Yeah, it is. 20. Are there 20 spirits down here? How many people lived in this house? That's a lot. Are you one of the people that lived down here? They drowned somewhere. Are you talking about the little boy? Is that the little boy that Liv was seeing that was- Do it. <laughs> Do what? It's talking to me. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Owner. Be ready. Be ready for- 40. 40. Oh. 40 people? 40 yard dash, meaning run. No, stop it. That is the farthest stretch you could have possibly made. Jesus Christ. Is your name Zach Bagel Bites? Six. <laughs> Do you know of the seven people that protect the Hey. Seven? Hey, hey. When we, what? When we were doing our conjuring videos before, there were seven souls in this house that keep people safe. Do you know the seven souls? Mm-hmm. He's come there. Down? Um, can that man that came down here with Sam and Colby come back and do things with us, please? Biker guy? 
No, like the dude that was like what, that was really heavy. No, I remember. I yeah. see him as like a biker dude. Oh, I didn't see him. Can they come down here with us? Is this Leave. <laughs> yeah, I figured they would tell us that. Get out. Is there anything that nice that you can say? I mean, we just said that we love you in three different languages, at least. Stand by. <laughs> we'll work we'll on that cotton. Can you talk to us like a human being? How long have you been here? Too late. Me too long. Dance. Kid I could you? dance. <laughs> Flosses. Being flossing in the conjuring basement? <laughs> Jeez. No. <laughs> <laughs> Their God, please, no. <laughs> Nothing but that. I'm not seeing the no horror. horror. The horror. <laughs> you. <laughs> I know I should dance, right? Run. Yeah. I don't got that. I think yet. you're pretty neat. Did you just set the rim pot off? Are you able to speak into one of our EVP recorders? Run. Can you make the EMF reader go off again? I'll allow it. I don't know. Good for you. I don't have my running shoes. It's like good for you. <laughs> Sassy. Do people use these candles down here? I'm not supposed to. I hope they look used. Maybe it's for the effect. Maybe. Maybe they used them before. I should. So you should use them? Mm-hmm. Was there a man that I was seeing earlier that was down here? Sorry. Oh, was it associated? Loser. Was it, <laughs> was it associated to Sam and Colby? What was his name, Thomas? He's... He's what? Cool guy. I know you missed that. Weak. That he's weak? No, he's not. I watched what he could do. Am I doing what that man is doing? Changing the energy in the room. He builds. Pop Builder? Is the Conjuring? The white lady's down here. Oh, really? Someone that's like hers. Interesting. There's a woman in white that just came down. She looks more like an angel than a woman in white. My name is... Sure. Me. <laughs> We're not starting this again. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Will the lady in white talk to Russell? That was a hard no. Yeah, she said she's changing things like you asked. Deborah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You just... Because I've been trying, because I can feel when the air gets itchy. I like... I just got... Itchy. No. I just got really... That cold, one is really clear. But very calm. Yeah. She like drifted down from that corner and she's behind Janelle. Hi. Yeah. He said the name Deborah. We'll have to look up what it means because once he said that, they said look up the so, name of Deborah's name. So fucking cool. Oh shit. <laughs> what does Deborah mean? B. I might have. It's B. Uh. Okay, it says Deborah was the, Arrow. the biblical prophetess who summoned Barak to battle against an army of invaders. Yeah. After the battle, she wrote a victory song, which is part of the Book of Judges. Late night. Was that why we're supposed to look up your name? That name? She's not going to talk to us. She's, I'm not here for that. I'm here because you asked me to change the energy of this room. Yeah, because I was trying to change the energy of the room because every time this... It's fine. Out, it got itchy in here, like the energy was like staticky. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so I Take me down. Tried to push the like inchworm, like peaks and troughs of the energy so that it was flatlined back to where it was supposed to be. And then it, that would stop. Attention. But no, I don't have to so do the it. Not the... So can human souls talk to us now? Will human souls talk to us? Yeah, will human souls talk to us? Is there someone that will talk to us? If so, what is your name? It cut. Was there a lady in white down here? Was a different one than I normally see. Yeah, she's more of a spiritual being. Like it. Why did this lady in white come? Because the real lady in white doesn't need to be here necessarily. It's mm-hmm. like one of her constituents. Got you. That's cool. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Denial. It's not just a river in Egypt. <laughs> He's done. Is Russell done? No, thank you. Hmm. Jesus. No. Sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, I just thinking, can you turn the rim pad on, please? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going off differently than it was before. Mm-hmm. I just said knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Are you the human souls that we wanted to come down? Ra ra. Yeah. Da, Was da, it a good da. TikTok? Sis boom bop. Oh, that thing like goes in like in sync with it. It's really interesting. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little. It was cool. <laughs> a lady in white came down here. Oh, great. It's not the lady in white. A different lady came in because I was, like, trying to make it not scary because this would go off and that would go off. Like, watch this. You're going to make it do it again. I'm sorry. (laughs) But it's so cool. Oh, shit. Right? There's, like, barely anything coming through. Yeah, because we're trying to not talk to dark things. Mm. But there's not a lot down here other than that. Yeah. But we're going to switch. Okay. Figured out the volume doesn't change unless it's not sweeping through. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I didn't realize that. It has to stop sweeping before you're able you to change, change the volume. Up. Yeah. Change anything, actually. I didn't realize that. Yeah, because I see you guys doing it while I edit. And I'm like, mm, that's not doing anything. Do you want to talk to Emily? Maybe. Oh, maybe. I was gonna say. All. Come here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Mine. First. I am here. Mm. Who is here? Do you have a name? Your mom. You're the first one here. Disgusting. Why do you hang around the basement? What? Why do you hang? Are you looking for? It's okay. How many souls is I'm talking to? Say it. Don't spray it. I'm a. Emotional. How long have you been down here? Why do you stay down here? It's coming. 
what's coming. How long did you live here? It sounds like... Only... What number sounds like only? Talk to me. Can you see the woman that came down in white in the corner? Enough. Do you not want to talk about the woman that's standing in the corner? Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Is it easier for you to talk to M? Should I eat more pizza? Financial. Were you the one setting off our REM pod? We're pointing. Who's Who's pointing? The police did. The Macarena? What did the police do? Is there better? Do you guys hear men talking outside? Yeah. Can you turn on the music box in the hallway? Super tired now. Who else is down here? Oh man. Do you like talking to us? Yeah. Is this a human soul talking? I'm here. Are you one of the men that were talking outside? Maybe. Assault? No. That's a yes or no question. Are you one of the men talking outside? Hey there. I'm coming here. So, Satin, it's enough. Can one person at a time talk? Buffet. To M? Yeah, it's not a buffet for her ears. Maverick. (laughs) Cross. be a name. Possess. Is it? (laughs) Oh, God. I didn't pay. How long have you been here? It's about me. It's not about you. It's about other people too. Do you want to make any of our cat balls go off? Or the flashlight in the corner? Wait. There's six. There's five of us. Who's the six? I also said six earlier, too. This thing said six as well. How many souls are down here? Were you speaking with Janelle and I upstairs? It's too many. Too many questions. Round. No, there's too many people. Are you talking? Too many different timelines is what they're showing me. All of us. Yeah. A.M. Is that? Yeah. (laughs) Russell, there. There's a man talking about these things. Home key. Came in and like everyone else stopped talking. He like takes up the whole room. Can you say anybody else's name? Doubt it. Scale. How long have you lived here? Happy. I'm still. Yeah, you are living here. That's a good answer. How long did you live here? I'm still living here. (laughs) 
Noted. I Nobody. Never looked. Gives a fuck. Do you like Corey who gives the now. tours? Now. Do you like Corey who gives the tours? Me? You do? What's your favorite? That. What's your favorite thing about it's not. Corey? Mine. What's your favorite thing about Corey? Something. Descriptive. Okay, two's going now. You have it. What's your favorite part about being here? That's one. You. <laughs> the paranormal investigators. I think it's interesting when people come here. They're everywhere. That's true. Instead. Nice. What's your favorite food? Believe. Believe it. Say hi. Hello. Is it time for us to go? Be quiet. Should we go back upstairs? Are you here? Are you here? I'm trying to get through. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking. Kill. Nothing. Owner. Branch. Do you like the new owner? Home. Say yes. The latest and greatest thing. The latest thing is what? Every. Sardom. <laughs> I'm getting really lightheaded. Again. What? I said I'm getting really lightheaded again. Oh. Do you want to do something different or do you want to go upstairs? Are you taking a break? Were you getting anything? A little bit. Yeah, a little. You said hi, M and Russell. <laughs> well, yeah. Which is funny. Did anything else go off? K2 went off a little bit. went off too. It's interesting. What is just this place? <laughs> nothing's really happening now. What? So nothing's really happening now. Yeah. Feels There's very quiet. The white lady in white came out and touched the floor. Which is nice. So. Did you like our conjuring video? Liv is asleep. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm joining the souls. If you guys like our ghost hunting videos, tell us where we should go next down in the comments below. And uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see our next content coming out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. It's 528. We are your meta side. Thanks. I'm so tired. <laughs> Nice. This is who I am as a person. Everything's fine. No, we got two seniors <laughs> playing at the same time. <laughs> that, that happened when I was like doing the SS method. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> Can you spike again? I'm not recording. If we're going to play the DJ with the friend pod, I'm not about it. It's gonna go away. This is the non-broken one, supposedly. Those are no, both. they're not broken. Both of those are broken. No, they're not broken. Yeah. I'm gonna move this chair. I know you need the magic word. Oh. This is not being a center bit. I Thank you. What are you doing over there, K2? Can you, jeez. Can you hit the red for me? I believe you can.
Can you repeat certain ones on here? Like if I tell you to do the blue one? I was gonna ask to do the blue. Can you set off the purple one only? She's like, what? Is there a man in here? Yeah, can you do the purple one? I think, I don't know. <laughs> Being blinded by flashlights. Um, is there a man down here with us? He says that we need to stay on the same frequency as him and he can talk to us. See? Because I was like, I see the scary version of you and the not scary version of you. I just have to stay in the same frequency as you to talk to you. What is that frequency? Um. Not what I've been on. It's like night. a mid-tone frequency. Um, he wants to say there's the frequency that's in the basement that's kind of like wee woo wee woo. Um, the frequency that he's on is solid. It feels solid when you're on it, but it feels like you like lift your chest up. Okay. Like you sit up straight. I know that sounds really weird. That's what he's telling me to tell you because you're. Uh, clairsentient. So that's the feeling that you need to feel when you get on that frequency. The house does a lot of things too. <laughs> the house is like, you want to know about paranormal stuff? Let me check my book encyclopedia. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a man down here. You just have to stay on the same frequency as the man. Is this the same man that was down here earlier with us that you said you mentioned from Sam and Colby's video? I don't think you're the same man. You have a higher pitch energy than he does. Is that correct? Or are you the same man as Sam and Colby's video? <laughs> really? Hmm. He's like, it's different in person, ain't it? <laughs> Your camera is pointing at that. Of course you're gonna turn off. <laughs> Can you make that stop? Can you make it go in blue? That's green. Thank you. Can you turn it off? Can I'm trying to stay on his frequency. Can um, because is the other flashlight not you? Yeah. <laughs> the right flashlight is him. The one on this side. Dyslexic, I have no idea of what I Mini know. light? I think so. Yeah, that's the one that's him. Um, <laughs> but he... That's a cool noise. When you, when you set the REM pod off, do you, you set the K2 off as well? I think that's just the type of energy that they are. Okay. Um, because there's a lot of electrical stuff down here, so they use that sort of energy to make this go off. So the same thing happens on the K2. That's okay. why they happen in kind of like at the same time in correspondence to each other. This, the K2 spiked to orange. Yeah. It spiked to red earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. no, I got it on the TikTok. <laughs> that was cool. I hope your camera doesn't do this all the time. I do too. <laughs> Hopefully this is just a this place thing. Yeah. Is it just a this place thing? Wee Can you make that stop, please? Trying to get it back to the frequency. Blue. Yeah, we like the blue frequency because we deal with understanding. <laughs> no, we're getting back to it. I don't care what you say. There it is. 
Okay. I mean, it, it just feels a lot different. It doesn't feel as like. Cause I like don't know why he wasn't here before. See, he's here now. Yeah, I don't know exactly why. Oh, he's telling me. He's like, your energy is similar to mine. It wouldn't have been okay for Liv to be down here with my energy. Because it, I have very heavy energy, and he has very heavy energy, which is why when Sam and Colby were down here, um, he was protecting them because he like, it's like he's a base and that low pitch hum just like takes like a 10 feet around him. And he was the person that taught me how to do the same thing. So, it makes sense. No, it does make sense. Yeah. Do I know who you are? Are you associated? Okay, are you associated to the Conjuring House? Solid frequency. Blue. You are associated to the Conjuring House? Is everything freaking out because I said Conjuring House? <laughs> So, we're in the basement. Um, Liv and Russell are, they went back to our cabin. Blue frequency. <laughs> so, we're in the basement and it's just me, Janelle, and uh, Anthony. And we are doing a solo session. And there's this man down here <laughs> who uh, I was seeing in Sam and Colby's video that was helping them. And this man is like, has a, like a low hum pitch energy. And he uses that to move the like weird things away from them. But he's on like a mid tone frequency above like the room. Because the lower frequency is a little which is why this is doing that. Um, there's someone standing by me. <laughs> is it you? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> He's like, it's okay. You just have to stay on my frequency. You guys got questions? I don't know. You had questions. I'll keep it on the frequency. You can ask them. Were you upstairs earlier with us when we were talking to Russell doing the Estes method? You had a different man. I felt masculine, but I couldn't tell if who yeah, it was. There's a man up there. When I was walking up there by myself, there was a man with me. It wasn't him. He deals with the stuff down here because it's hard for souls to come down here with the frequency that's down here. Yeah. So who was the man upstairs? We couldn't get a name, but the flashlights were going off. Then they stopped going off when darker things... Are you the worker guy that we were talking to earlier that was up there? Or was that the worker guy? Because I'm talking to this same dude that was down here. Yeah. It's the same guy that I was like seeing physically in that room when we were doing the That's like, session. That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. He's up there. But also in that room, I, can't, I don't know if I'm, my mind was playing tricks on me or not. I'm aware of this confirmation because Russell was talking about scissor hands. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. in the doorway, I saw this. <laughs> on the corner, like, of the door, like, on the door, like, edge. I don't know how to explain it, so... I'm trying. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, but once that went off, I was like, I am doing my job, and then you started talking, and I was like, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I know what's going to happen about the question, yeah. like, masking and stuff That's like okay. that. But it's like, was that... A, 
mind game or was that actually real? This man says you know the answer to that. Okay. Then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then what I saw was correct. Yeah. Because it didn't bother me. It was just like, okay, what? Yeah, this place is so weird. It was like, why going? It was like, <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah. Were you a physical man? Did you like live on Earth? Or answer that one first for me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a spiritual being? You're like a celebrity. <laughs> I could, I wanted to meet you. <laughs> I did not want to meet you, but it's fine. Unless you do blue. No, it's not him. Are you told to be down here? Yeah, that's not you. He's like putting energy around that right flashlight to prevent the other things from touching it. So every time it's the other one, it's not him. There's just things touching me. He's like, I can do blue. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you guys have questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. God damn. It's like, with the energy changing, with them being down here, and then you said it was like, you have more heavy energy, so that's why he's down here now. Mm -hmm. He's a spiritual being. He has a lower pitch energy. The human souls that protect you upstairs, it, they have a higher pitch energy, so it's hard for them to come down here in order to, like, do things. It's kind of like... What they show me is like uh, oil and water. Um, so if they come down here, they affect the frequency and make it worse. That's okay. what they're showing me. Because they're showing me the waveform like this. So the waveform is wobbly down here. Their frequency is light frequency, so it's high pitched. So when they come down here, it's like they push the peaks and troughs up and down. So that's why they stay upstairs. Um, so I'm editing this video right now and I feel like I need to explain this better. So what I'm talking about is there are a few souls down there that are helping mediate the energy within the space. And these souls have a lower vibration and that allows them to sit down in the basement instead of like stirring things up because their vibration is very similar to what is down in the basement. So if we had like a light being, a being that has a higher vibrational energy come down the stairs it would start uh like stirring up the energy it's kind of like they would start blending and mixing it's almost like the only thing i can think about is like the perfumes from pink where you have like i don't know like pink on the top of the perfume like pink liquid on the top and then purple liquid on the bottom and then you like shake it up and they like mix together but eventually the longer they sit they kind of separate again that's what would happen if a light being came down into the conjuring basement because the conjuring basement is lower vibrational, but this light being has a higher vibrational energy. So it would almost like start doing this to the frequency down in the basement. And that would mean that it would start mixing that human frequency that I was talking about with the, uh, with the lower vibrational frequency. So the lower vibrational frequency would be able to start mixing its energy in and like start affecting the human frequency. So what would potentially happen, and it did actually happen, is when Liv was talking to that little boy, she said a little boy came down here and told us that we shouldn't be down here. However, after a while, he switched to something scary because he had a higher vibrational energy. So when he came down there, he started making the energy do this because he has such a high vibrational energy that his energy started intermingling with the lower vibrational energy that allowed the scary things to manipulate what he looked like to make him appear more scary. So I hope that makes sense. 
So this man has a lower frequency. I think he was sent here to help with things. Is that you? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Um, yeah, he was sent here to help people. Because again, this place is like very famous. A lot of people come here and do dumb things. So they needed to have a spiritual being that could make sure people are okay down here. He is that. Because he has a lower frequency and it's solid. That's why I'm telling you that it's on this like mid-tone frequency and when you're on it, it doesn't wee wah solid. Yeah because a light being's frequency is more wee wah, but a consistent wee wah. So that's why they would affect the uh, waveforms down here. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, any paranormal question you have, this house <clears throat> will answer it. Okay. I'm trying to stay on the frequency, it's interesting. So to stay on that frequency, you just have to be more so relaxed or calm. It's like I lift, okay, it is for me, I have a low pitch energy, I have to lift my energy up to his. But it's blue energy. He says he's making it blue for me because that's the uh, pitch that I need really weird because so I was like it was red before because Sam and Colby needed red um this pitch is blue blue is understanding that's the freak he's like that's the frequency you need to be on in order for you to not be scared are you guys scared no is it <coughs> <coughs> Cough so hard it fell down. This place, like, I haven't coughed all night, and this is randomly just starting to cough now. I mean, we're in a dusty basement. That's why. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh. Like, I'm not scared, it's just more so I'm calm. Mm -hmm. I don't feel... Were you scared when we were down here before? Yes. Yep. I was Same. scared because I was getting cold and I felt things that were... Well, it's because there were scary things coming in here. I felt like there were things standing behind me, but I yep. didn't have the confidence to ask if there were actually things behind me. But I knew that there were. Low frequency, please. <laughs> I knew that there were, but I just didn't... I tried to ignore it. Because I got colder than I normally get cold. I think it's cold down here now, but like but then it was like very cold. Yeah, it's interesting. And like when we were upstairs, I wasn't. Like when I said I saw that person standing in the doorway, like that shadow. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't scared. It was more so, like, oh, okay, I actually saw. Uh, okay, I'm not losing it. Yeah, because they're like doing things, but they're on the frequency underneath us. And it wasn't like a taunting thing or anything like that. It was like more so just like standing there, like looking over. The taunting thing was upstairs when I saw this. It was like, <laughs> I was like, you said you wanted to split off and come in this room. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> 